and to the story of an artist who uses the past to create an archaeological dig of the future, whose our correspondent Spencer Michaels explains. Half a mile from California's state capital, in a storefront studio in Sacramento, a 52-year-old artist from China has replicated 2,200-year-old warriors discovered in an ancient tomb. Gong Yubin, who came to the U.S. in 2004 speaking no English, has fashioned an exhibition that uses the past to comment on the future. These ancient terracotta soldiers, 8,000 of them, were discovered by farmers in China in 1974, buried in the tomb of China's first emperor in 210 B.C., and meant to protect him in the afterlife. The carefully crafted army, including horses and chariots, has drawn thousands of tourists to the site, and some of the objects themselves have been exhibited in America and elsewhere. Gong was a teenager when the soldiers were discovered, and their large military presence inspired him even then. This project I have been thinking from my childhood experience until now. Now I stand in the world stage. He lived through China's cultural revolution when his own family was ordered to the countryside. They had little food and lived in fear as the government cracked down on intellectuals and political opponents. Gong survived and eventually went to an art academy where he produced traditional paintings on silk. But his life experiences had instilled in him a desire to go beyond the expected. Today he is using his own newly created army of terracotta soldiers to make social commentary on war and greed and government. People kill others and uh, then comes revenge and uh, this goes on forever. Desire and uh, greed from those in control, that is big problem. All that translated into plans and models for the creation of 210 terracotta soldiers, most of them, but not all, very similar to the ancient warriors. Gong took his idea to Sacramento's Crocker Art Museum, the oldest museum in the West, and pitched it to Scott Shields, chief curator. I went over and I saw what he was doing. I thought, we have to, we have to show this piece. The first thing that really interested me in this piece was the sheer scale of it and the ambition behind it. It's, it's a huge undertaking. It took a year to mold the soldiers and have them manufactured, somewhat ironically, in China. Today, the exhibit is housed in the ballroom of the Crocker Gallery, and it's a striking image and a bit of a puzzle. 200 warriors from the past and 10 modern soldiers hidden among them with dilapidated nuclear missiles cradling newborn babies carried on high by the entire troop. I think it's about empire building and it's about man's inhumanity to man and, it, and I think that that's all part of what he's trying to say is that look you know 2,200 years have gone by and we haven't changed all that much and we need to do better. Gong's idea is that 800 years from now, archaeologists will unearth the soldiers made from clay dug from the same mountain as the ancient warriors and try to learn about the past from them. And by titling the piece Site 2801, he wants us to stand from the vantage point of the future and look to the past, and the past being our present. The past is very much a part of Chinese art, according to Pat Cheravapati associate professor of Asian art at Sacramento State University, who greatly admires Gong Yubin's work. You know, traditional Chinese way of learning uh, is to copy the past. So if you want to be a painter, you started painting bamboo until you become one with bamboo. You copy the old master, and then gradually you would add your own style onto it. So I think uh, Yu Bing did what traditional Chinese supposed to do, is to copy the past and project the new symbols into his work. Chiravapati says the ancient tomb soldiers found in China symbolized the control of power by a great emperor. What Yu Bing was trying to do 
is to represent so many generations of power, the control of um, people. In the new work, the babies housed in the missiles represent hope. But she says the new exhibit is more complex than a simple anti-war, anti-greed message. I think it's more like a conceptual art. You know, he sells his concept by the use of previous symbols that we kind of know. So once you look at it, you, you, you know, but at the same time you don't know because you try to figure it out what he's trying to say. At gatherings like this talk from museum docents, Gong is often asked what his display says and how his own background shapes what he is trying to convey. Baby symbolize hope. But for all the interpretations, it's the visual experience of seeing Yu Bing Gong's work displayed at full force that leaves the most lasting impression, even for art teacher Pat Chiravapate. The first thing I said to myself was, wow, this is beautiful. Site 2801 remains at the Crocker Museum through April. Spencer has more on the Site 2801 exhibit and other large-scale works by artist Gong Yubin in a blog post on our website.